Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Lua. Our viewer is trying to create an external Lua module on Windows 8.1 using the GCC compiler. They want to build everything from scratch without relying on pre-compiled files. Let's dive into their process and see where they might be running into trouble. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To create a DLL for your Lua module, first ensure you have compiled Lua itself. Start by compiling the C source code of Lua 5.2.4 using the following commands. Next, write the C code for your Lua module, which we will call Lua Math. This module includes a function to create an identity matrix. After writing your module, compile it by linking it to the Lua Dynamic Library. Use the following command, replacing the path with the actual location of your Lua DLL. Finally, when you require your module in Lua, ensure that there are no multiple Lua VMs running. This error can occur if Lua is initialized more than once in your application. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a DLL for your Lua module, remember not to link the Lua library with your DLL. This is crucial to avoid errors. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create a DLL for a Lua module, start by defining the sys flags with Lua build as DLL and compile your Lua code. You can use GCC for this. Alternatively, you can use the make file provided in the Lua source. This method automatically sets the GCC flags for you. After compiling, you should find lua.exe, luac, and lua53.dll in the source directory. Finally, compile your Lua module into a DLL using GCC with the shared flag. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.